What's up glue dots? I'm Elaine the Midnight Crafter. I finally created a tutorial for the DIY wall sconce that I posted on my Instagram page. So that's what I'm going to be showing you right now and I want to get right into it. Start by disassembling all your frames, wrapping, insides, everything. Do make sure when you buy these five by seven frames that they're the ones that are the glass all the way through. They don't have that wood backing on them. Now that I've got everything disassembled, what we're going to be using, one of your frames, you will leave the glass inside as well as that little square piece. One of your frames, you will remove the glass, but leave this little square, the rectangular piece. And then one of them, you don't need it at all. So we're going to put that aside and we're going to be using only the two pieces of glass here. These two frames here, we are not going to be using these at all. We just want the glass from those. You'll also have these little plastic sheets left over and you can use this for another project. I like to use them to mix paint on or something like that. These I have not figured out a use for, so if you guys have some ideas, I have a few of these left over. I don't know. I'm gonna put my four glass pieces aside for right now. I'm just gonna work with the other two frames. So for this frame here, you are gonna wanna push the tabs down so that they hold that little interior piece in place. And then of course the other one's already kind of intact also. We're going to be using only one of these picture hanging hooks. And this is something you probably wanna do from now and put that in place, not on the back side, but on the right side of one of your frames. I'm gonna put it on the piece that has the glass in it. Now, if you don't intend on hanging this up ever, you don't have to put this piece on. Next, we're gonna be gluing together our two frames, wrong sides together, so that both sides have a nice look to them. I'm gonna use my Gorilla Glue, or you can use E6000, and also my hot glue as well. And put the two together. Now we're gonna start assembling our glass box. So you do wanna have a box there also just for support. It's not part of the project, but it is something that's gonna make it so much easier to create our box with, because we're gonna use that as sort of a stability and a guide for it. So what we're gonna be doing is taking our first piece of glass and lining it up right at the edge of our other piece of glass and gluing those in place. That's why I say too, it's nice to have this um, stability here for when we put the sides up, we're gonna use that to help out to keep the shape of the box. Using your Gorilla Glue or your E6000 or whatever type of adhesive you're using, you're gonna go along that top edge there and put your glue down. Now don't worry, the seams are all gonna get covered up later, so not to worry. And then you're gonna line that up right on the edge of your other piece of glass and be real careful because you don't really want glue to get gooped everywhere, so try and keep it as close to that edge as possible and just line everything up. Now here's where it's nice to have the box because it will hold that and you do wanna make sure that it doesn't slide and that it is lined up. So we're gonna let that dry for just a few minutes until it's not real slippery, and that's gonna help it to stay in place while it's drying. While we're waiting on that to dry, we're gonna do something with our two smaller uh, rectangle pieces. And I like to use rubbing alcohol and a little paper towel and put some on there and use that to clean off the surface of my glass before I glue on these pieces. Once you have those cleaned off, you're gonna count out 24 of these little glass, little round pieces because those are what's gonna be going on the sides and on the front of this to form our design. If there's any that are like this that are stuck together or noticeably larger, you can just leave those out. 
Once you have your 24 pieces, we're going to be gluing those directly onto this smaller glass piece. Now, you don't wanna put them all the way up to those edges. You want them to be spaced out and a little bit away from that edge. You don't, if, they, if there's room to space them out, great. If not, you do wanna make sure you leave that edge because we're going to be gluing on some bling wrap, which is gonna help cover the glue seams. So you do wanna make sure that you leave an extra space at the top, the sides, and the bottom. Then you're going to just glue these each one piece by piece into place using your, I'm just gonna keep saying E6000, <laughs> but you're just gonna put that on there and press it into place. The glue will not show through if you use a, a, an E6000 or Gorilla Glue or something clear like that, and you put a little dot and press it down, it sort of spreads out behind the stone and it doesn't show. I've got these two pieces all done, and it really just thought about something, guys. I'm gonna actually take this apart, though I did such a nice job on gluing it. It really is necessary to put some pressure down to push these stones into place so the glass doesn't show. So having this um, already glued together is just gonna make it a little harder because it's also standing up. So I'm gonna take this apart while it's still not completely dry <laughs> and clear off all that glue. So with these two pieces as well, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put one aside because that's gonna be the underneath base part. And I am going to put pieces are gonna go on like this the same way. And I do wanna just show you something. So apparently Dollar Tree has now gotten them in like this. And it is a much smaller bag of stones than it was before. So if you guys can find them like this, there's a lot more in than the new packaging. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and glue on here 54 of these stones going nine across times six down in the same way that we did with that. Now it's gonna vary on the stones. I thought I was gonna be able to get nine across by six. I'm only able to get eight across by six, so that's only 48, but it's gonna vary. Just go ahead and do the same kind of way that you did on the other one. You're gonna kinda have to play with these because these stones are very misshapen and some are larger and smaller than others. We need to really let these dry so that they will not slide around or get weird before we put our boxes together. So at least a couple hours of dry time on this, if not 24 hours. Are you enjoying what you're seeing so far? Well, if you are and you wanna see more of it, hit that subscribe button down below as well as the bell next to it so you know when I upload new videos. If you this DIY is a collaboration with two beautiful, talented, and creative crafters, Lisa Marie of Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie and Josie of Life at 50 and Beyond. So make sure to check out my description box below for links to their channels so you can see what creative ideas they came up with for Dollar Tree DIYs under $10. If you'd like to also follow me on other social media platforms, I have a really fun Facebook group where you can post your own craft projects that you've created. It's called Midnight Crafter Glue Dots. I also have things on Pinterest and you can also follow me on Instagram at EP Midnight Crafter. Don't forget also check that description box below if you're interested in entering to win a really cute little bling owl keychain. And I do that drawing the first of every month with a nice live little chat and get to know you all better. So I think that's it. Let's get right back to crafting. I've given these things all time to dry now. It has not been 24 hours, it's been a couple hours. They feel really secure, like they're not slipping around anywhere anymore. So what we're gonna be doing, we have our one piece of glass here and we're gonna be putting on our front side first. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna put some glue down on this bottom edge and we're gonna be using the Gorilla Glue or E6000 and putting that just along that bottom edge. I'm gonna have my box ready and I'm gonna line up right on that edge, line up my two pieces of glass. These are a bit top heavy or front heavy I should say because of the stones so you can have something else to hold it in place as well. Once this has had a bit of time to dry so it's not slipping and sliding around we're going to work on gluing our sides on. 
So the same way we put the glue on the bottom of this, we're gonna put it on the bottom of our piece here and on the side of it here. And then we will be putting it in place right up against the other one and on the edge of our other glass. And put your box up to the corner um, to really give you that correct angle. And then also have something ready to put on that side the way we had on this side so that your piece doesn't tip over and do the same on the other side. So I've got my all three sides glued into place now. I've got stuff holding them because they will tend to tip outwards as opposed to inwards, as we said, because of the weight of the stones. But we do wanna let this dry really well. Now you can go in just with some extra Gorilla Glue or E6000, and that will also give it some more strength. You can do that now if you can carefully turn this around or get to it or have access to it. Maybe doing this on a Lazy Susan would be a good way to do it. I'm going to let this dry a bit for me so I don't destroy it trying to turn it, but then I'm going to go in with my Gorilla Glue on those inside edges. Okay, this is just dry enough that I can move it, but it's still not dry completely. What I'm going to be doing, I, I don't obviously want to tip it or move it, but in the position it's in, I'm going to go through and add some of my Gorilla Glue at the seams of each section. The outside will, as I said, be covered up with a little bit of bling wrap, so you don't have to worry too much about those seams showing. But it is really an important step to do this because this being glass, you really don't need it falling apart, right? <laughs> Try not to do too much. You don't want it to get too far up the sides and showing from the front, but at least get enough in there that you know that those seams are well taken care of. Originally, I was gonna do that with the hot glue. But as I thought about it, hot glue doesn't stick well to glass. And so it's probably not the best option for holding. So I'm just doing it with the E6000 or Gorilla Glue instead because that will be a more permanent hold for sure. Now might be a good time that you can use some of your bling wrap and start reinforcing some of those front edges and top edges. So we have this seam here that we're gonna be going over. And now this particular bling wrap that I have is a three strand bling wrap, but I just cut off a strand of it and made it into a two strand. And we're gonna be taking that piece and going running down the length of this so that it kind of folds over one on one side and one on the other side. And that's also gonna to help to keep this seam together. So figure out how long a piece you are gonna need exactly so that you don't have to be picking up anything or cutting anything afterwards. And then I'm gonna go right down here and fold it around that edge. This is something you have to sort of play with a bit until the glue gets a little more tacky. So you're gonna do this on both of your side pieces here. And then we're gonna be, to protect us from getting cut on the glass or that sharp edge, we're gonna be doing a single strand of bling wrap across each of those sides. I'm going to put my glue across that top part and then just lay my strand right on top of that. And you're gonna do that on all three sides as well. We're also gonna go back to this piece here, our original frames that we glued together, and to cover the seam around here, we're gonna do the same thing with a single strand of our bling wrap going all the way around to just make that look a little more finished. But I'm not gonna do it on the bottom side. Now remember you have the hook here, this is our top side. Don't put it on the bottom side because we do need that to just lay flush. Once you get that bling wrap all the way around, we're gonna get back to our little glass beads here and we're gonna be gluing those on the inside rim of this little frame part here. And it just adds a nice little touch. And right here on this inside ledge, you can push them back if you want them to cover that space a little bit. Then our final step, which we can do now, even though everything is not dry, we're going to be gluing this piece in place, which is then also gonna give the final side of this glue 
also some th these walls some stability because they'll now be stuck to this and the bottom will also be glued to the glass as well so everything's going to kind of come together at this point so you're going to put your glue over here on the glass and of course you want to do that on both sides and then for the bottom, you wanna put it on the bottom of your frame and put it more towards the center because you don't want that glue to goop out either. And now very carefully center this and you're not gonna to wanna to move it around a lot. So once you get this in place, it needs to stay there. The back of this glass will not end up flush with this. It will stick out a little bit from the back. So I'm gonna try and center this as best I can before I set it down and then put this into place. So to finish out, we're gonna take one singular strand of the bling wrap and go around any unfinished edges. So down at the bottom here, our unfinished edge and the bottom around, all the way around. And then lastly, that little side piece there. And this project will be done. I'm so excited to show it to you guys. It is beautiful, all lit up and ooh, yeah, baby. Hang on. Mm -hmm.